Alright, in this video we will be looking at the contract section and all the fields that Podio has created in this section. So there is the APN number which is assigned to every house, there is the purchase price, the formatted price, the EM, the earnest money deposit, you can add that over here and you can also add the APN manually, then the close date, then the days for due diligence, then offer expiration date and then additional terms that are necessary for the contract and then the contract action. So over here you can click on this, the click purchase agreement and a contract will be created for you automatically by Podio. So let me just show you a sample contract. So let me just click over here. All right, so this is a sample contract. This opens up, so there's the title, the seller details, so the seller name, the seller email, the seller phone, the seller address, then the buyer details, the buyer name, the buyer phone, buyer email, the buyer phone, the buyer address, contract details, property details, again, there's Google Maps of it all, then assignment date, then total purchase price, total purchase price in words, purchase agreement date and then earnest money deposit additional terms these will be here due diligence date over here assignment fee repair cost this will all be here so it's very crucial for you before sending out a contract to to double check all these details to make sure that you have the right email and the right name and the right number in case of any misconceptions that could take place after the contract has been sent. Okay, moving on to DocuSign. DocuSign is basically an automatic contract signing e-service where documents can be sent via email and people can sign them remotely. So first it will be sent DocuSign, when it will be sent, then generate send DocuSign and then so basically these fields the ones that are under DocuSign the DocuSign send DocuSign generate and send DocuSign uh, DocuSign status these three are all automatic so Podio will up these, update these themselves so when it will be sent it will be updated your, themselves whenever you send the email to the prospect it will be sent themselves and then over here generate document this was also you will just click on it and it will send it via DocuSign and then DocuSign status, sent, declined, delivered, completed. So when uh, the document has been send it, send it to the prospect via email, this will be, the sent will automatically be selected. When it's been delivered, when the person has received it, this will be delivered, will be uh, automatically selected. And when they've declined it, they've rejected your offer, then offer declined will automatically be selected. And when they have successfully completed the transaction, they've signed the contract, completed will be selected. So then uh, this DocuSign status is very important as this was this will also automatically uh, this sta this status reflection will be shown in the lead so in the lead let me just show you one sec all right so in our previous video we discussed the status in the lead management section so over here once the contract has already been sent this will be automatically updated so it will be either under a contract if we've sent it rejected contract if they've rejected a deal closed if they've signed the contract or a contract sent if it's been sent to them but has not been delivered yet and then over here on the file is a contract and then the task and then related items so let's just look at look at the contract. This is basically the contract in PDF form. So the important details that were in this section, all the important details, the seller, the buyer details, all the contract important details have all been written in bold, as you can see. And then it will be sent here and the, uh, the prospect will have to sign it via DocuSign and just email it back. So Podio really make Podio and DocuSign really makes this process a lot easier as they do most of the work for us and all we have to do is make sure that the correct details have been entered into the tabs.